Welcome back everyone to Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today we're gonna to be going over basic Final Fantasy settings. Now, when I say basic, I just mean the settings for you. There's a lot of videos circulating say the best this, the best that, the best that. Every computer, every system, everything is different. There's no way there's one best setting for everybody. So I'm gonna do my best to make it as simple as possible and to help you guys get going to make your game look beautiful and luscious without actually sacrificing your FPS, okay? Which is basically uh, frames per second, the thing that makes your game look choppy like you're basically playing snapshots. Now, before we get started, of course, I have to I have to do it. Hello, I'm, everybody does, every bot, every, uh, for some reason, they all do that and I wanna feel apart, I'm lonely and I, I wanna be accepted. First things first is we wanna go ahead and open our options and we want to go to system configuration. Boom, I'm gonna, that, that's easy. You're right, it is. Second, what we wanna do is go to full screen. Why do we wanna to go to full screen? Well, full screen basically tells your computer, hey, shut down everything else in the background and just focus on my game. That's what full screen does. If you go borderless or if you go windowed, it's gonna make you lag more. You wanna to try to be in full screen at all times when you're playing any game because that tells your system, I'm focusing on just this game. So after we do that, we wanna go ahead and we want to click this, the preset, and we wanna scroll all the way up and go to the lowest possible resolution. Boom, click that, apply, bam. Oh my gosh, you know, my, my game looks like crap. Don't worry, it does. We're gonna fix that. Don't worry, don't worry. Now, after we're done with the preset, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and go over to the graphics settings. Bam. After we're at that, go ahead and scroll all the way down to standard laptop. I said scroll, but you don't really have to because it shouldn't have you scroll. After we do that, we click apply. Boom, our game's fixed. Not really, let's continue. So we wanna disable everything that's not important. So enable wet services. I don't care about that. That needs to go, right? We need to disable everything that's gonna cause you to lag. Disable rendering of objects when not visible. We wanna keep this on because pretty much what's happening is that let's say you're in a house and there's a vase on the other side of the wall. The game won't load the vase until you go all the way around that wall. Use low detail models on distant objects. Of course, if something's far away, you want it to look uglier because you don't wanna have your computer work on trying to make something look good in the distance when it don't even do anything for the thing in front of you. Real time reflections off. You know, we wanna make sure that everything's just lower off, lower off, lower off, lower off. That's all we want. Boom, bam, sham a lamb, just go through it and sit, make sure everything's lower off. Shadows, hide the shadows of everything. Um, use low detail shadow models, yep. Make Like I said, make sure everything's low. Make sure everything's low and off. Boom, bam, bam. Make sure everything's low and off. Um, put that to bilinear. Make sure that's low, yep. Movement physics, turn it all off, yep. Naturally darkens, make sure it's off. Blur objects around, nope, turn it off. Glare, turn that off. Water, turn that off. Everything off, off, off bam right and like my game looks horrible i know bear with me please we're almost out now we go back to displays and we scroll all the way down now pay attention to that fps number whatever your fps number is try to cap it near that number so let's say my fps is 10 cap it at 15. my fps is 22 cap it at 30. my fps is 60. i mean not 60 i'm sorry <laughs> 55 cap it at 60. For some reason, Final Fantasy, when I uncap it, it starts, it, it really has just some stability issues. So like one moment it's at like 140, next moment it's 120. Like, and it, that, that causes major like fluctuations of lag and stuff like that. So definitely don't do that. If you want some really, really good advice though, try to cap it what it's above. So if you have 33, cap it at 30. If you have 22, cap it at 15 and so on. All right, so that's kind of a really, really good tip. But if you wanna try to go the extra mile, just cap it whatever it's near. So after we cap it, we wanna scroll back up and we wanna go ahead and start playing with this and pay attention to the FPS number. So whatever your FPS number right now is, if it's like 12, pay attention to that. But you wanna keep going until your FPS kinda starts to go down. When you notice like, oh crap, it's going down, then that's when you need to stop or maybe go back up a little bit. You know, test it and walk around. If you really want like no, like it feeling like no lag, try to be somewhere around 20 FPS. If you can hit that number or at least be close to that, that's usually where there's no choppiness at all when you're playing, usually. So try to hit that. So whatever, we continue to play. And uh, let's say this is what I'm supposed to be at, right? This is what I'm capped at. This is what, this is what I can do. I can only do this. What we wanna do now is we wanna go back down and change this based off that number. If it didn't change at all, and you know that's what you're stuck at, then cool. But change it based off that number if you have to. So after that's all done and good, you wanna go back to the graphics setting. And now when we're here, you wanna turn on everything that actually matters to us. 
So I don't really care about wet surfaces, right? You wanna turn off things that improve your character quality and then you wanna turn on things that improve your environment quality because you wanna make yourself look good for it. If you really just want the environment to look good, then don't worry about your character and start turning on some water stuff. But if you wanna make your character look good, your weapons look shiny, stuff like that, you wanna make sure that you start doing stuff with you first. As far as movement physics go, try to go full, click apply. See if your number changes. If it doesn't change, cool. If it does change, try simple, see what happens. But if it doesn't, like I said, keep it full. Let me continue to scroll down, scroll down. Okay, so screen space, ambient, and collision. Go ahead and try to put that on HBAO plus quality. Boom, see if your number changes. Oh, my number didn't change. Okay, then keep leave it. If it did, keep going lower and lower until it gets a little bit more steady. Remember, your magic number is like 2021. 20, so if it's like, if you're at 25 and it went to 23, that's still fine. You know, your magic number is 21. If you can get above that, you should be pretty solid. Um, and then glare, turn that on, you know, you see what happens. Now, pretty much we already set the things that are very nice for your character. So we can kind of just go ahead and start doing some other stuff. So if we go back up, don't really need to enable web surfaces, but maybe you want to have the grass quality be a little bit better. Put it on normal. See what happens. Um, the glare, turn that on. See what happens. And just start slowly turning stuff on and try to keep that number around 2021. 20, if it gets lower, you know, try to see if you can do anything about it. But if you don't, remember, always try to go back to your display settings and cap it at the specific number that you have or close to that number. If you really like, I really want to keep these graphics, but ah, oh, my FPS, what you can do is just lower your resolution a little bit more to compensate for the fact you're adding more graphics and try to find that that balance. Little final note here, 60 hertz is what you're aiming for. Um, if you do anything higher than 60 hertz, you're gonna, it's gonna like push your system. So try to get the 60 hertz, the 60 hertz settings. And that's pretty much it to it. If you guys like the video, thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, thumbs down. If you guys got questions, message me in the comments. Message, you're not really messaging me, but I will take it personal. You're messaging me in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. Make sure you subscribe if you want more settings video like these for specific games. Make sure you give me suggestions for games maybe that you're playing that you want settings for. And also just if you guys want to watch my gameplay of me playing games or me making maybe another tutorial for, for Final Fantasy. I mean, whatever you guys want, make sure uh, if you subscribe, you like what I'm doing. Don't subscribe if you don't. Remember to also go to that should you buy Fall Guys video, like it, 35 likes, and that is going to be a free Fall Guys game for anybody. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for what? Popping often, will often.